Here's another question on partial fractions. We have got a quotient where the top has power 2 and the bottom has power 3. We have to express it in partial fractions. We've got to know what rule to use. And then we're going to work out an integral using part A and uh, we're going to have it in the form P subtract ln Q where P is rational, that means it's a fraction, and Q is an integer. Okay, let's have a go at part uh, A. Right, so uh, we need to write 7 plus 3x plus 2x squared divided by 1 subtract 2x, 1 plus x, all squared, in partial fractions. This is a standard result you need to know. It's A over 1 subtract 2x plus B over 1 plus x plus C over 1 plus x squared. Okay, usually one mark for writing that down. Now our next line would therefore be making this have a common denominator. It would be 7 plus 3x plus 2x squared is the same thing as A must get mul uh, multiplied by 1 plus x squared. B needs to get multiplied by 1 subtract 2x, 1 plus x. And C just gets multiplied by 1 subtract 2x. Now we're going to do some substitutions. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, let x be, let's say, uh, negative 1. So let x equal negative 1. Very careful substituting in here. You could type in your calculator 7 plus 3x plus 2x squared and use the calculate function. But subtracting in negative 1 in there, you get yourself 6. And that's going to be, that will disappear, that will disappear. And if you put negative 1 in here, 1 subtract 2 times negative 1 is going to be equal to 3, positive 3. So C is therefore equal to 2. Okay, the next thing is let x equal a half, because that would mean this and this would disappear. So substituting in a half very carefully in, in here, you would get yourself on this side, it would be 9, and that would be the same thing as 1 plus a half squared. And you would get nine over four. So you get nine over four a. And this would tell us that a is therefore nine divided by nine over four, which is equal to four. Okay, so we've got our a and our c. Next thing is to try and find the b. Easiest thing to do here is let x equal zero. This side would be seven. This side would be just a. This side here would turn out to be b. And this side here would turn out to be c. Now remember, we have our a is 4, and we have our c is equal to 2. So we need to find b now. So subbing those in, 7 would be equal to 4 plus b plus 2. So 6 plus b. So therefore, this tells us clearly that b is equal to 1. Okay, so express f of x and, f of x and partial fractions then. f of x is therefore equal or identical to a, which is 4 over 1 subtract 2x, plus b, which is 1 over 1 plus x, plus c, which is plus 2 over 1 plus x, all squared. And we're done for the first part. Okay, for four marks. And the next part, we're going to work out this integral of f of x, and we're going to make sure that p is rational, so it's a, a fraction, and q is an integer. Okay, so the integral between 1 and 2 of f of x is actually equal to 4 over 1 minus 2x plus 1 over 1 plus x plus 2 over 1 plus x all squared. Okay, with respect to x dx. So working out this bit, I'm just doing side working up here. You're integrating 4 over 1 subtract 2x dx. Okay, and you ask yourself the question, is the top the differential of the bottom? Well, it isn't. No, it isn't. If it was, it should be negative 2. So imagine this was negative 2. 
what adjustment would you need to make to make it be the 4 that it was? You would need to multiply the whole lot by negative 2. And then the answer would be negative 2 ln of 1 minus 2x. Okay, so the integral of this then would clearly be negative 2, and then the perfect, uh, that's the perfect integral, ln of 1 subtract 2x. Okay, so that's how I work at this. You can do it in your head when you get skillful at this. So this is negative 2 ln of 1 minus 2x, big square brackets here. Is the top the differential of the bottom? Yes, it's the perfect differential. So plus ln of 1 plus x. And this one here, we've done this in the previous question, the integral of 2, 1 plus x to the minus 2 dx. Well, this is simply a reverse chain rule. So we're going to add 1 to the power. We're going to divide by that number. And we're going to divide by the differential of the brackets. So it's going to be negative 2, 1 plus x to the minus 1. Or negative 2 over 1 plus x. Close the brackets. I'm going to rub this out there. That's how I did it in my head. And it's between 1 and 2. Okay, so let's substitute 2 in. This is negative 2 ln of 1 subtract 4, which would be th negative 3, and then modulus it. So just leave it as 3 plus ln of 3 subtract 2 over 3. And then we're going to take away the answer when we put 1 in, subtract 2 uh, ln of uh, minus 1, which would be 1. Put in 1 here, plus ln 2, and then subtract 2 over 2, which is 1. Okay, ln 1 is 0, so that disappears. Here we've got ourselves negative uh, 2 ln 2 plus, uh, negative 2 ln 3 plus ln 3. So this these two clearly combine to negative 1 ln 3, subtract 2 thirds, and then subtract ln 2, and then subtract negative 1, which would be plus 1. Okay, so here we've got um, negative ln 3, subtract ln 2, and then negative 2 thirds plus 1 is plus a third. Now we want it in the form negative ln uh, q, so we can have the third first, a third, and then we could have subtract ln 3 plus ln 2, okay, factorising out that minus, and they combine to be ln 6. So it's a third, subtract ln 6 is the answer to our integral, and we're done.